Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see how can we set up Postgres database and PG admin client using the Docker. Here is one project where the front end is React.js and the back end is Spring Boot and the database is Postgres. Here in the application properties file, we can see the Postgres related properties. Let me open the terminal. So first, let's run the React application using the yarn. Node server started. Here you can see some initial clean where the backend database is not required. Now let's run the Spring Boot application. And here you can see it is fake because the Postgres database is not available in my local machine because I haven't installed. So what should be the other way? Without install, if I want to use Postgres, then how can I use? So for that, Docker is the solution. So this is the problem statement for this video. Here you can see Docker is already installed and running properly. And currently we don't have any image and no container is running. Let's create a Docker Compose YML file. The latest version is 3.9. You can cross check in the Docker website, but I'm using 3.9. Let's add a services, adding some changes. So this Compose can be able to download Docker image for Postgres. And even this file itself will run the container for the Postgres image. Okay, give some container name like Postgres. Give the image name. This image name detail you can find from the Docker Hub website. It's very simple. Setting restart as always. Add environment properties like username, password, DB. And these details I am just copying from the application properties file. Now set up port which is 5432 is the default port number for the Postgres. And that's it. Let's run this Docker Compose file. Currently, we don't have any Docker image. To run this Docker Compose file, the command is very simple and the command is Docker Compose add up and downloading started. See, it is completed. So this Docker Compose is able to download Docker image and run that Docker image in a container. Let's check Docker. See, here is the container and it is running without any issue. Let's run our Spring Boot application. And now it is not giving any error. Let's try to log in open application class and here you can see the username and password let's log in and see it's working as you can see we did not have any setup for postgres it is working because of postgres image is running in the docker container let's log out here we can access the database using the console we can run all the commands but the console is not that much user friendly so the user friendly software is postgres client there are multiple options are available but i'm using the pg admin client let's delete some terminals Open Docker Compose file again and let's add one more services for PG admin. Give some container name. Give the Docker image name. Again, you can find the Docker image name from the Docker Hub. Here also, restart is always. Set some environment properties like default email and password to access the PG admin. You can give anything. Add the port detail. And that's it. Let's follow the similar process again. So let's run docker compose command you already knew docker compose up. Now as you can see we have only one image. So let's run the command. And it's done. Here now you can see two images one for postgres and another for pg admin. And here inside the container now two images are running. Let's see how to access pg admin from the browser. Either we can use localhost or IP address like 127.0.0.1. And see it is showing the login screen. Now login using the email and password which we configured in the docker compose file. So let's copy. And see it is working. And now to access the book DB, we have to set up the server first. So let's click on servers and register. The name you can give anything. Click on connection. Give the DB username and password. Let's give the host name or address, but we don't know the value. So from where we get the host name value. Here is the answer. We can get the host name from the Docker container. I'll show you how. Let's open terminal and run the Docker PS command. Now we have to inspect the Docker Postgres container. Give the container ID. And here is the IP address. This IP address is nothing but the host name. Copy and paste in a host name. Now click on save and see it is working. And here is the book DB. Here are the tables. Let's run the select query.
and it is working and you can see the data let's log in again hey it is not working because the server is down let's start the spring boot application and then try again See now it is working. Everything is working as expected. See it is very simple to set up the Postgres and PG admin. In the next video, we will set up the Spring Boot application also. Set up in the sense we will run the Spring Boot application from the Docker Compose. So that Spring Boot application also will be a part of the container. But that is for the next video. For this video, that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Then please do like, share, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.